We're always happy to be with you. It's the Tree Button Kevin Good Show. Good morning. Get up. Good get alert. Let's morning. wake up. Let's go. You're, you're very excited this morning. I every morning. you got to get up and hit that ground running in okay. Jesus' name. Well, today's show is all things beautiful show. Yes. So that means we're going to stay in the positive. We're going to celebrate and compliment and enjoy this day. Yeah, okay? that's good. Dwell on the positive. Never accept the negative. And uh, I love that about this morning. So you turn the TV up, watch, call a friend, tell them the Tree and Kevin show's on. That's right. And that's enough to get your day going. It's one of the things that I love. I mean, I love, it's hard to watch when you're here. But Come on now. We need like to work and hurry. I like to catch the previous show. I know. So, I do too. All right. So stick around. Tell a friend. We'll be back with more Treva and Kevin show. Show. Yeah, it's all pretty things. interesting. All things. All things, not some things. But all things. All things. And yeah. uh, that's They always said beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Do you believe that? Well, I'm looking. I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be a comedian, a stand up comedian in her second career. I'm telling you. You know, the last time we were together, she said, I need a new co host. I said, What? She said, I want to get one that's charming and witty. And I polite. said, Younger. Younger. Yeah. Trade him in for a younger mom. And, and that's right. But anyhow, I enjoy doing this show with you, Kevin. You know, I was thinking of the other day some of the funny, random things that people say. Okay. And one day, someone said, my teeth itch. No, no, tell Is me. That pretty? That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Or what about if someone says, uh, never play golf with a doctor who wears green socks? Uh-huh. Those are some random things that people, have you ever heard anything random? Yeah, I say them out there at the golf course. You say course. them all the time. Yeah, I, I repeat you quite often, Okay. Treat. Or uh, why aren't shorts half the price of Pants. Oh, yeah. I say, now, do you call them short pants or shorts? I call them shorts as well. Yeah, I call them shorts. And I, I used to run around and say, hey, what did what, you do with the money? And they said, what? What money? The rest of your pants, they got them cut off. They got them cut off. Hello. Well, okay. Hopefully, we're not cutting anything off today, but we do have a, a wonderful, interesting guest today. Yes. And uh, I'm so happy to <laughs> tell you all all about a wonderful organization that I was blessed to uh, start called Lost. I think yes. you're a part of the yes. organization, Lending Our Share Stories. So we would like to invite Trina DeSoto. Hi, Trina. God bless you. And Thank Trina you. is our dear friend, yes. a financial advisor, but she's here because of Lost, yes. Lending Our Share stories and so all of us we all have experienced those losses in life but Trina talk about uh, what loss has meant for you and to you. Well Trina I really appreciate you getting me involved in this organization and ever since I've been involved people are coming to me and talking about the loss that they've had and um, just so many stories this last week I was on a cruise in okay. Costa Rica and Panama, and um, it was work-related, and there was a person who was there by herself, and so was I. So we kind of teamed up, and we would do hiking together, and she was telling me about her life with her husband. Mm -hmm. She had been married for probably 30 years, but the last 10 years, she had been going on these trips by herself. Come on. So she... It was just really an adjustment for her because um, she would come with her husband and they had other couples that they would team up mm -hmm. with. They would plan trips together, these three couples. And after he died, they tried to do that again, okay. but there was a void there. Yes, we understand. Yeah, there husband, always will be. Yeah, her That's husband fine. wasn't there. And so it was very uncomfortable for everyone. And so she decided not to do that any, anymore and to um, find new friends and new people to go and to be very independent. Mm -hmm. Well, when we signed up for the trip, I saw that she was not um, with anyone. So I called her and I said, you know, I'm going on this trip by myself too. Let's get together and do some That's good. stuff. And I'm so glad I did because I learned so much from her. And she shared about her husband 
and he had cancer, and how when he was dying, that the room filled with angels, mm -hmm. and angels were touching her and touching him, and she felt such a comfort for that. Amy, you know, and, the whole time you hear these stories time and time again yeah, about the angels, mm -hmm. uh, and you hear it, and I believe it, and I know it. That's the difference in people who has a loved one, loved one that loves the Lord, right. and you know it, and it's real and genuine. And then when you hear these stories, mm -hmm. some people can say, well, that's kind of crazy. You were delusional, but uh, you know it was the truth. Mm -hmm. She knows it was the mm -hmm. truth, and you can't ever change their minds, mm -hmm. and that's the power of their testimony. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you reached out to her, and yeah. I was reflecting. You know, the truth of the matter is probably everyone or most everyone listening to us today will have this come into their life right. at some time or another. Yes. So what are you going to say to those when it knocks on their door? Mm -hmm. What do you say? Well, I think it's really important to reach out to these people when you see somebody alone and to invite them into your life because you don't know what's going on with them and they appreciate so much somebody reaching out and I'm just sharing time with them. Yeah, I believe. And that's what Christians are supposed to do, call to minister. And sometimes you say, well, I didn't give them anything but a word. Yeah, and yeah. the truth is, all they really needed that's right. was a word. That's right. And just let people know how much you care. Right. And to express that. Because people, they need love. People need an encouraging word. And so I'm always grateful for the time that we can give mm -hmm. to show others how much we care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what we Loss do. is a beautiful program. And you know, it's been said, no one cares how much you know. Smart ladies, yes. journalism, and finances. No one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. That's right. And that's the Christian love that comes out, and it's expressed in reality. It's not fake. We're not manipulating. No. It's the real world of, uh, world of yeah. a sincere love, a Christian love. And I'm excited, too, because every third Thursday of the month, we're going to be meeting over at your office, Ms. Trina, and that information is on our Facebook page uh, for the Treva and Kevin Show. Uh, we're very excited that every third Thursday in the city of Clarksville, we're going to have a loss interest meetup because people are saying, what is loss? What's it all about? And uh, is it do I um, is it that I just lost a spouse? Or, I mean, you could have gone through a relationship where you've had your best friend and you're no longer friends. And Come on. You just need support, yeah. right? Have you ever needed support? You need support because one of the puzzling things about life as we go down is how do relationships can be the best of friends and then they fall apart. Wow. And then you look back and you say, I cannot believe it. So many people feel like, well, you know, they stabbed me in the back or there was treachery mm -hmm. and it breaks mm -hmm. your heart. Yes. Can I get an amen? Yes. And so we are called to be forgivers. Mm -hmm to forgive and to move on. Like and sometimes that. God has people in our lives for a season. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're at this point in our life for a season. Let's be used for the kingdom. And you know, I want to thank you and Trina because when I wanted to start this organization, you both were very supportive. Trina, oh my gosh, you just, you were there. And I just really, it's so important when you're going through something like yeah. this that you have friends that say, you know what, I may not understand what you're doing, but I want to be there to show support, to help. And that's what you both have done. And I want to thank you guys so well, much. Well, that is great. You know, Trina, when we started doing the show, we never realized that the Lord would call your husband home. Yeah. I was reflecting over Robert today, even riding in, and what a blessing he was in my life, a mighty man of God. And I'll say it again, even when he went through, he was in agony. And you say, Robert, how are you? Brother Robert, Pastor Robert. He said, oh, I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah. And he was such an inspiration. So what will we face? So your great loss was my loss, and uh, we can share that one with another. That's why your organization will be ministering to people for years and years and, and years, years to come. And one thing I wanted to share, it was late last night, Trina and Kevin, I received a phone call from a woman I've not met, but tonight I will be visiting. Wow. And uh, her husband passed away. He passed away in the month of October. She says, we were married for 40 years, and she wow. was just crying, and I just need to talk to you. I just need for you to just, you know, whatever God has given you to say to me, I'm so broken. And I know that we always won't be in a place of a of, of state of brokenness yeah. because God is a healer. But I thank God for people that God uses like Trina and 
Kevin and people in the community yeah. to just say I care. Sometimes loss is just living, li listening, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. You don't have to. I just let her talk. She said, I love my husband. My husband meant so much to me. And I can understand her words. And I just listen. And uh, so we set that up. And uh, we'll keep you posted on that. But I'm telling you, God is really doing something. When I hear your voices today, I'm reminded, you know, we're at the law firm. And sometimes people get medical diagnosis that we know we're on a limited time. So everybody said, we got to get our affairs in order. So here they come to the Kennedy Law Firm. And I'm meeting with them really literally within months wow. of this being over and so we're trying to give a word of encouragement try to get the will try to get the power to try to get everything lined up that needs to be That's done fine. but we're in anticipation of the great grief and the great loss right. that is wow. about to embark on their life so i thank you for this show yes. and uh, and miss trina what thank would you, you like i mean this is your first time on our show know, today it's so exciting. i'm excited to have you yes. here so uh is there anything that you would like to say to uh, have people to invite them out to come out to a meetup to come by and meet you to meet myself to meet Kevin right. to meet the community what would you like to say? I think the best thing would be come to the Thursday night okay. meetings and just to see what it's all about to hear other people's stories yes. because it will you know pe people come into your life when you need them and you hear stories well that you need yeah. to hear that's right and this is an opportunity to come and find out what it is and to get involved because when you're hurting, ooh, helping other people is yes. such a gift. It it's is. a gift. Hello. And I'm grateful for the cities of Ashland City. They'll be starting us some meetups in Go Nashville. On. They're coming along and of course in Detroit. And so it's happening. Las right. Vegas, we touched down there and we're going to do some things in Texas this year, yeah. also North Carolina. So when I say God is opening doors because we are here to share. Yeah. All of us have a story. I've heard Miss Trina. I've listened to your story. I've listened to your story, Kevin. But I can't tell Trina's story. No one can tell her story better than Trina. It's so true. And I can't tell your story. Only you can really Amen. tell your story. Amen. So in the midst of all of these shared stories, remember to share your own story. Mm -hmm. That's a testimony. Yep. Talk about the good things and what the yes. Lord has done. Inspiring. That's right. Motivating. Motivating. Sharing. Yes. Empowering others. Wow. So in my last question to you both today, not to not to stay on your loss, but how did you overcome the loss that you had? Whatever loss that was, you don't have to get into it, but what was something at that time of your loss that helped you? Uh, gratitude, looking every day what I had to be grateful for, yeah. and also to reaching out to other people and helping them oh. get through their loss. That's, that's, the, that's the thing that helped me. Okay, Kevin. And you know, in my work, we've handled so many uh, cases where death was a part, where they were killed in car wrecks or airplanes or whatnot. I guess I've had 30 years experience of trying to help those families in their lowest hour. Yeah. For me, you know, if you'd had the betrayal and, and the disappointment, uh, I always try to look back to the scriptures and say, Kevin, just be a forgiver. Mm -hmm. Be a forgiver because you're pleasing God with your actions. Okay. And so even today, as we're sharing, there's some people out here said, I cannot believe this has happened. That's right. Isn't it true? That's right. But you'll find yourself right on the cutting edge of life. And so thank you for the yeah. loss. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your leadership. Yeah. Open your home for the glory of God. I've told others by recent adult life that whatever I have, I want it to be used for the glory of the King. Yes. All right. Well, so much more is coming up. And uh, Trina, thank you for stopping so by. And me. I'm so excited to have you part of this. Sweet drawing. spirit about yes. her. Isn't she amazing? Yes. And you just, well, you did the whole cruise and everything. So next next time you'll have to catch Kevin up on the cruise. And yeah, maybe take us, take us with her. Okay, break out on the cruise. She can take us with, maybe yeah. take us with her. Yeah, so. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. You scared of the water? No, no. But, uh, just the things in it. Yeah, I'm a little scared of the shark. Okay. I say, Trina, you take that. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we'll be back with more. Thanks for tuning in, Trina. God bless Thank you. Thank you.
morning, Sam. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you know, it's a blessing when guests return. Yeah. I mean, it's like, that means that they really like us. Come back to her. So, Miss Elizabeth Rickman Thayden yes. is here with us today, and welcome back. Thank God bless you. Thank you for being with us. All right. So, tell everyone, of course, I can begin, but what brings you by today? Of course, we're talking about leading ladies, yes. and this is a leading man. Come on now. Okay. Let's get the thing straight yes. right off the bat. So tell us about The Leading Ladies. Leading Ladies is an amazing book. This is volume two. Volume two is coming out. Yeah, a whole lot of powerful women that are going to ignite the 2020 year. Yes. Yeah, I'm very excited to be a part. Thank you, Trina, for having me be a part of oh this awesome book. So I'm just thrilled and, came, and just excited for it to come out. So what are some things that uh, we can look forward to from your chapter? In the so I want to, my whole journey in life is to empower women to ignite them to be everything that they want to be. So I hope to just pour into women and just let them know they can do whatever it is that their heart desires. Yes. I want to teach them about balance because okay. that's a big thing. Women today is trying to do it all, but we sometimes lose focus on ourselves. So I hope to help inspire them to do these things, to be able to give and just tell other people. I love it. You know, the balance, I would say, that's probably so real to the professional women that are out here. Yes. You know, I know that in my world of lawyers, we have men and women, both lawyers out there, that uh, how do they raise a family? Yes. How do they take care of children? It is, and then how do you fight the other yes. lawyers to that's stand right. your ground? Yes. It is almost more than you can imagine. But of course, all across the nation, women are emerging as great leaders yes. in the business world, education world, and now in the literary yes. world. I like that empowerment. I love it. And you know, one thing I can say, we all have, uh, we're blessed by the book Leading Ladies or the Magnificent Men book. You were featured in the Magnificent yep. Men book. And what did what was that for you? Well, it was so powerful because all these other talented men, these men of accomplishment, that I introduced men into their world, yeah. and I, I drew strength from those men. Yeah. And you hear their stories, and some had amazing success. Yes. And of course, you know, we started out, men started out with different levels of education or socioeconomic. But golly, can we not build on one another right. to inspire and empower the next. I love it. And I thank you so much, Elizabeth, because last year it was just in my heart to, to just to do another volume. The first Leading Ladies this was such a blessing. It touched so many people. We had 50 amazing women in that book. And so when we come back with Leading Ladies, volume two, we're looking forward to Evangelist Beverly from the screen being a part of the book. Also, um, you got to help me. We've got some other names. Yes, we have. Oh, there's yes, there's, there are several that are coming to that book, and so it's important. It's important for us to share our stories, and I just I believe we have several stories, and we'll continue to share our stories. And you are an author, so I'm excited just to know that you know you received it. You wanted to be a part of something to that's a collective body of work to yeah. share, and that means a lot. Well, you take yeah. this back 30 years and we look, people say, well, I'd love to be an author, but I have no way to get it done. Yeah. But through the work that y'all are displaying, mm -hmm. she got it done, and she yeah. got it done. And when you wake up, you say, if she did it, I can too. And, you and those empowering I love preachers and women of God mm -hmm. that are leading churches and congregations yeah. and building churches, is it happening? Oh, yeah. It's happening. So so again, we live and build and encourage one another. And then what man, this is golly, the women yes. are getting it done. What am I doing with my and, you know, life? Another person that I thought of was uh, the singer, her mother will be featured in the book, Kelly Price, mother. Kelly Price is an R&B singer and uh, she's nationally known. Her mother is also another preacher woman and she will be featured in the book. And so, so many women have, were and have been coming forward and saying, hey, when are we coming out with the book? And I thank you all so much for when I experienced what I went through last year, you all just waited for me, and I'm yes. so grateful. Um, just having you here, it reminds me, okay, we got to keep pushing, because there are so many stories that have to be told. If you think about the Bible, there are so many stories and parables, yes. and great men and women who are in the Bible, men and women of faith. And when people, they can read this book 100 years from now, Come on. and they will read about all 
the magnificent men, but they would also read about all of the leading ladies that are to come and yet to still come. And even long after I'm gone, yeah. I pray that this book continues. Yes. Maybe my daughter, she'll pick up the torch and she'll continue to run yes. with another volume. And we'll just continue to see the rise of these women. So we're just, how does that make you feel being so connected with such a great body of work? Just when you're speaking about the torch carrier, the torch, that's my daughter. And that's the way I have the same that I feel. Yeah, I think we feel great. You yeah. know, we'll be a part of it and to empower, as I said before, power women. But so many times we just, people are existing. And that's what I saw when I started my conferences at Ignite. I love your conferences. I see them, I see you're posting about them. Yeah. And I definitely want to be a part of that. That was the whole purpose of that. It's just I started seeing ladies talking to me, just communicating, and they would just say, this, these are some things that I want to do, but they were just existing. So I said, I want people to truly live. Live out the right. I got you. Yes. Because I've heard it said, well, what are you doing? I'm just surviving. Mm -hmm. I'm just existing. Yep. I'm treading water until yep. I get through this hurdle to face the next. Yes. There's more to life wow. than existing. Well, definitely uh, reach out to us if you want more information about the book Leading Ladies, Volume 2, that's coming. Volume 2. Elizabeth, you are going to bless us with your chapter. I can't wait. And you know, even when I was going through last year, it's just like God put that book on hold because he was still, he's still writing the chapter. Come on, it's Because great. I have to have something to he's go He's still writing chapter. the chapter. And uh, now it's, a lot has happened that I will be pouring into my own chapter. Chapter, and I'm very excited. It's a journey. I get to talk about loss. I get to talk about uh, life after my husband, Robert, because with Leading Ladies, the first volume, I talked about life with my Come husband. Come on, Trey. And I shared uh, the loss of my mother yeah. in that book. And now I'm talking about life after, and uh, God is still speaking to me about this chapter. So if my chapter is going to be that way, I can only imagine what you are going to share to help women. And my last question for you, why is it important to give back and to talk to other women to help them, even with your conferences and the things that you do? I feel that women, they talk around the kitchen table, they talk around, you know, over the phone, yes. but they, there are so many other women outside of there are individual circles okay. that need to hear our stories, yes. as you mentioned. Yes. So that's why I feel it's important. Some people may not be vocal to speak it out, but if they come to the conference and read the book, yes. then they'll see that they're not alone. Okay. Yes. Well, reach out to either one of us. Uh, Elizabeth, she's on Facebook, and so am I. Her information will be it's out there, it's on our Facebook, and uh, I thank you for helping me because we, we want to, there's still some more openings uh, in the book. If you're interested in being a part of the Leading Ladies Volume 2, uh, we have so many things lined up, some great women of God coming in this book and pouring out, and uh, also just want to thank you, Kevin. Yeah, for, uh, thank you. Man, I love this. Yeah. And looking we were forward, all rolling. Looking forward. Two mighty women, let's get it done yeah. in his name. And this will make, I believe, book number six. Uh, wow. I'm Push Break them. some records. Yeah. Try to catch up. You know, greater things my students will do uh, than yet we have ever done. You know, every time I write a book, I say I'm done. I'm not writing I heard you. books, and then I there's another you. one. And so, thank you so much for being here. We'll just listen to what the Lord says. God bless you. Stay tuned. saying thank you God. Thank you Jesus. And let us be used for your glory. Amen. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Another show. We've got to wrap it up. Thanks, Kevin. Wrap it up. We'll Trina. see you again next see you time. Soon.